Bonjour, hello, and welcome to Max Mountain World. One four Sierra Whiskey zero zero seven calling CQDX. Bonjour, hello, welcome to the Man Cave, the Max Mountain World Global Headquarters, incorporating the Radio Shack. I'm just going to do a little video on the Yesu MD100 microphone. Just over a year ago, I took on board the, the Yesu FT450D radio. Fantastic piece of kit and uh, with the standard microphone I got so many good audio reports from people that I spoke uh, with on it. And so many people also said get this MD100 microphone, it really complements the radio well. So after the eight week lockdown here in France I thought I'd just treat myself to one. So ordered one up, got it through the post, got it from Radio World in the UK, fantastic shop, especially for getting stuff abroad. Uh, same place I got the radio from. But the first thing that every bloke does, nobody reads instructions, you just get it all together, unpack it all, plug it all up and boo, off we go. But I was very lucky because my very first contact with it was with a friend of mine, Paul, in Scotland. You know who you are. Fantastic bloke uh, who told me all about setting up all the, uh, the switches and things on the back of it. So what I'll do here now is I'll just do a little video on the setting up of it. Now the setup I'll just say is for me, for my voice, my situation in here, my radio, the Yesu FT450D. It might vary for other radios, I don't know, but for that Paul was absolutely smack on and I did actually subsequently one day when there was no propagation running I parked the car outside, stuffed the camera out there and I recorded myself on the various settings off my President Lincoln in the car. Got the same result, exactly the same thing that Paul advised me on and I've also since used these uh, SDR sites and uh, the the same thing happened. I've recorded myself off of them and exactly the same thing. So here we go. So when I first got the radio with its standard MH31 handheld microphone I rapidly found out that the, the number one position on the back was the best for that. So needless to say before any operation on anything make sure you've unplugged your radio, switched it off, unplugged it and touch some of the bare metal on the back just to get rid of any static. Now it might not be necessary but it's an expensive piece of kit, why not? With the standard microphone jack just press in the side there and pull out the jack. The microphone comes as standard, the microphone itself, the radio connection cable and the base with its own cable as well. So first things first, get this, stick it in place. Second thing, we've got these familiar plugs which uh, the, they're standard plugs sort of thing. They are actually eight pinners so these are more like the ones that uh, used to come with old Yesu radios and stuff but it's uh, the standard fitting in the back there, just find the U on it to match up and do it up. The same connection from the base to the microphone itself, put the U on it, which is there, and it's somewhere <laughs> there. And just do it up. No need to do it up more than a couple of finger tight. Finger and thumb tight is perfect for it. I found that uh, I gave this little screw on the side a little bit of a, a tighten up just to make sure that it was sturdy enough and it didn't move around itself or if you shifted it on the table it didn't suddenly drop down or whatever. And having done that, this is very simply a connection. I don't know, it's got some fancy name, perhaps you'll, you'll uh, tell me uh, in the comments below what its technical name is. I could just call it a phone plug because that looks to me like a domestic phone plug. So again, same position, the clip on the left, press it in, hold against with the radio and it'll click into place. We're all ready to go almost. Now before I switch on, make sure that your lock is off, i.e. it's not depressed, 
and there's another one on top of the microphone here make sure that lock is off and not depressed there's a, a, a slider here which takes you up down channels I've never been a fan of up down channel control on microphones so it's more a novelty to me than anything else the actual setting up of it the three switches on the back there the left hand one there I have set to filter the middle one to on and the right hand one to off now without going into the technicalities of why as I say this is what Paul advised me to set up and this is basically as I found to be the perfect setting being a bit of an OCD I like to have these nice and tidy so that just tucks in just nicely there the microphone tucks in there and it's ready you don't need to blah 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 straight into it just treat it like a, an ordinary desk power microphone and what I'll do now is I'll just go on to the radio and we'll see how to set up the radio for it so plug back up power up the FT450 and I'll get the volume down so you can hear what I'm saying and on the FT450 the function button press it for two seconds it takes you into the menus where you can flick around and whatever set your power whatever but the mic equalizer click on your selector button and I find the best setting to be number six there's ten settings in total but that's the one that does it for me and we'll come back out click again on the selector button hold that in for two seconds again and we're back to VFO and normal radio control now I'm just going to give it a check to make sure it's working so go down somewhere quiet 26 200 should be quiet listen for a couple of seconds and there are three ways of doing this audio or you can click the lock on audio or you can click the microphones one on the on the top here so basically the same again audio so that seems to be working so we're all set up ready to go and microphone radio on I'm on the lower call frequency 26285 no point in going up to 27 triple five the the zoo uh, it's just it's, it's just going crazy up there so the other thing is one thing I've noticed little sidetrack on this one is since this global crisis uh, and there's been a lot of people coming back on a lot of hams a lot of CBRs a lot of us freebanders and uh, I have never in my 42 plus years of radio heard so often people calling for audio checks, for radio checks, it's everywhere, this is all people coming back in, so I'm going to do this myself anyway, what am I complaining about, here we go. I've got a woodpecker coming back on, but that shouldn't affect it. Hello CQ, hello CQ, CQ for audio check, audio check only please. scared people off. Hello CQ, 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 CQ for audio check, CQ for audio radio check please. Audio Tango Charlie 62. Ok thank you 26 Charlie, Echo 62 I think you said. This is 14 Sugar Whiskey 007. We'll clear this frequency. Thank you for the check. Boing! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks very much. Sir. We'll catch you later. I'm just doing a little video for the YouTube there. Uh, bye for now. 14 Sugar Whiskey 007. We'll clear the call frequency. Oh well, yeah. YouTube, YouTube channel's quite popular these days. I'm finding this a lot. A lot of people, oh, you're a YouTube guy. Brilliant. You guys watching this? Thanks for the support. Really, uh, I'm just going to wind this up in my usual format, my usual way, and say thanks very much for watching. Remember, you can subscribe down there if you haven't already. When you do, click on the alert bell for notifications.
turn that off. Uh, notifications of further uploads um, from Max Mountain World. And also you can click the like, the dislike if you dislike it, whatever. Any feedback is absolutely appreciated, especially comments below. One thing I'll say before I go here on the microphone is it is an unbelievably dynamic microphone. It's Sometimes you find when you make a contact you have a bit of difficulty, there's QRM, there's QSB, whatever, and you find you have to raise your voice and you're trying to, you know, normally you're talking, you're addressing the mic. You don't have to do that with this. I find that it puts out exactly the signal if you talk normally to it. Then if you're blah, blah, I can shout into the thing. It doesn't matter. It sounds better and stronger when you don't which is absolutely phenomenal. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Catch you all soon until the next video. Ciao.